Hi, I'm Ara Kinyikin, Visual Effects Supervisor on Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings for Rodeo FX. Today I wanted to spend a couple of minutes with you guys and go through the work we did on Shang-Chi. Usually on a film like this, when you have to go somewhere and shoot on location, or you have a fight that's happening somewhere around the world, you would start by sending a team in place, you would capture a lot of photography, you would do some photogrammetry, you would scan the place, you would grab a lot of references, a lot of textures. But for this film, due to uh, COVID-19 and the pandemic, every single flight was shut down, all of the traveling was stopped. So we kind of had to find a creative way to uh, create Macau. So this is where we stepped in and, and discussed about doing it in CG completely. Since we couldn't send the team there to capture all that data, we decided to start with Google, basically. So Google Maps was our best friend. And through photogrammetry and, 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 and data extraction methods, we were able to build all the buildings in a very rudimentary form just to get a rough idea of what the layout would look like for Macau. And then based on the action of the whole scene, we knew approximately how many floors that, that the action needed to be. So we were able to put ca the generic cameras in height and, and, and being able to determine what we would see from different heights of a skyscraper. And then we decided, okay, well, let's start moving some of these buildings around just to compose the shots a little bit better, the views. And once we had that locked, we started the build. So obviously with a big CG city like this, with a big fight happening, one of the things we had to make sure was the photorealism and the level of detail. All the cities close to our uh, action were high-res models with a lot of animated lights and action in them. And since we knew approximately what Macau looked like, we were able to really build specific types of buildings, create a lot of variations for textures, and then just fill in all the volumes that we needed to fill so that whenever we looked at in Macau, it always looked like Macau. You recognize it right away. Once we finished building the uh, 360 map painting that goes around the city, as well as the nighttime sky dome, we went in and animated and did crowd sim for all the pedestrians walking in the city, all the cars driving around. So we had roundabouts, we had uh, red lights, green lights, stop signs. So all the cars were simmed that way, as well as pedestrians walking around and added a lot of, lot of activity in the city to really make it vibrant and adding a lot of life to make it look real. A big aspect of Macau in any Asian uh, modern city is the amount of animated billboards. So billboards were extremely important in Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings for this bamboo scaffolding sequence because it allowed to have a very dynamic lighting. And since we're always, or most of the time, seeing the city reflected on a very uh, uh, reflective skyscraper, it helped audience also to understand where they are on the building relative to the city. So. We decided to put grids uh, with UV maps as placeholders in our CG environment, and Comp would have complete access as to contents and look of these billboards. So we choreographed all the action and colors of those billboards so that they would match with the action and the intensity of the scenes. Because most of the time what was happening in our sequence is that we were seeing Macau through reflection on the building instead of seeing it rendered in real world. So we wanted to make sure that comp would always have access to all the technical passes and AOVs to be able to dial in all the, uh, the, the proper uh, CG elements and integrate them flawlessly. Well, hope you enjoyed it and uh, see you next time.